In a previous tutorial in this series, I showed you how to create a few modules. And remember, the Art Gallery logo in the main menu and the social sharing icons at the top of the template, those are template features. The custom HTML banner module and the login form are the only modules we have at our site already. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a menu module that will feature the same menu items as our main menu. Before returning to the back end of the Joomla site, we want to actually go to the module map of the CloudBase 3 template that you can access by going to cloudbase30.cloudaccess.net. We want to select a position for our module and we're going to select the sidebar A position. We already have one module here and we can assign this position to a second module. They'll just appear one right on top of the other. Returning to the back end of the Joomla site, we'll start by going to Extensions and Module Manager. We already have two modules created, and to create a new module, let's click on the New button in the toolbar. And of course, there are many module types to pick from. The module we're going to create now is a menu module, which will allow us to feature any menu we've created in any position on the site. Of course, first we'll create a title for the module. Let's title this the side menu. And secondly, we want to select the position. Now the sidebar A position and the sidebar B and C positions in the CloudBase 3 template were built for menus. Let's scroll down until we see the sidebar A position here and we'll select it. We also need to make sure that we're featuring our main menu in this module. We have many tutorials on how to use the user menu, which allows you to add users and place them in user groups and give them tiered levels of access for your Joomla site. You can find those tutorials in our knowledge base. We'll also go to our menu assignment tab, and we want to feature this module only on the pages selected. And I'm going to deselect all and select only our art gallery homepage. That's the only page where this module will appear. At this point, let's go ahead and save the module. We'll return to the front end of our Joomla site and refresh the page. After refreshing the page, I'll scroll down a little bit and we will see our side menu appearing on top of our login form. Both modules are in the sidebar position, but I'd like the login form to appear on top. I'd also like to remove the title for the side menu. Returning to the back end, we can do that within the module by clicking on the module tab. Underneath show title, I'll set show title to hide and then go ahead and save and close the module. And in the filter column under select position, I'm going to filter my modules to display only modules in the sidebar A position. Here I see both of my modules, and if I wanted to, I can drag and drop by clicking on these two small arrows. I can drag and drop one module on top of the other to reposition them. Making sure my side menu appears on the bottom, let's return back to the front end of the site and refresh the page, and I can see the side menu below the login form. I actually like the side menu on top of the login form, so I'll return to the back end of the site and move it back on top of the login form by dragging and dropping it. Let's go ahead and refresh the page now, and the side menu will again appear on top of the login form. One other thing I'd like to show you about modules in the sidebar positions in the CloudBase 3 template. We're going to go ahead and open up our modules again, and we'll display all of our modules again by selecting select position in our filter display everything. Let's open up our side menu module and I'm going to change the position of this from sidebar A to sidebar B. Once I find sidebar B in this drop down menu I'll select it and I'll save this module. Let's go ahead now and go back to the module map for the CloudBase 3 template. Notice how the sidebar B position goes on the right side of the sidebar A position. Returning to the front end and refreshing the page, we can see that that's what we've done. We've put the menu off to the right side of the login form. One trick in the template, though, is to change the layout. We'll save and close the modules and go to our template manager so we can open up the CloudBase 3 template. From here, we'll click on the Layouts tab, 
and I'm going to scroll down until I see the main body layout. Once I locate the main body positions, I can see that the main body now appears off to the left side of the sidebar A and sidebar B positions. Using the scroll bar at the bottom, I can change this layout to a 363 ratio, putting the sidebar A to the left side of my main body content. At this point, let's go ahead and scroll up and we'll save the template. Let's return to the front end of the site and refresh the page and we can see that our sidebar A login form now appears off to the left side of our body while the main menu stays to the right side of the body content. In the next tutorial I want to show you how to create a blog for your Joomla site.